Born on December 24, 2002, Tierra Nicole Jackson was the first and only girl of Marvin and Teresa Jackson. She grew up in Jackson, Mississippi with both her parents and her brothers, Marvin and Marcus Jackson. At an early age, Tierra knew that she wanted to become a writer. Reading books since the age of four, Tierra created her own plays and would write them out in her notebooks, and she would share those plays to whoever she came across. As time went by, Tia would transform her writings from short stories, plays, poetry, to articles, all before she graduated high school from Richland High School in Richland, Mississippi. However, Tia wanted to do something more with her gift of creativity and the love of arts and history. Tia went on to attend Heinz Community College in Utica, Mississippi, a school her late grandfather, Walter Wells, attended when it was called Utica Junior College. While at Heinz, she joined the WHUC New 7 department where her instructor, Timothy Chrysler, fought hard to get her to join the program instead of wasting her talents at East Central Community College in Decatur, Mississippi. Tierra made the best decision to join the department in Utica and her skills improved. While at Heinz, she became the first person from the Utica campus to win Miss Heinz Community College since the organization joined the Miss America organization. She then went on to become the first Miss Hines to even win Miss Mississippi, making her the fifth black woman to win that title. As she went throughout her journey as Miss Mississippi, she became the first runner up for Miss America, a, no a moment she will never forget. After leaving Hines, Tierra went to the illustrious Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University in Tallahassee, Florida, being one of the top students of the journalism department. Tierra worked as an anchor for 10 years in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, while in Philadelphia, she wrote her best-selling book, The Art of Karen. She went back home to Terry, Mississippi and started working on her media company in Jackson called Magnolia Blue. Magnolia Blue became one of the largest media companies in the nation. Not only was she a businesswoman, an author, a pageant girl, and an artist, Tierra also paid off her parents' house, bought them new cars, her father a gray and black German shepherd, and a lake house in Michigan. She also spoiled her nieces and nephews more than she was supposed to. But most of all, Tierra gave back to her community. Every accomplishment she achieved, she always remembered her roots and did everything she could to help out people that needed it most. On January 1st, 2102, Tierra passed away with loved ones around her. She was survived by her great nieces and nephews.